So about 250 million years ago, the Americas and Europe were part of this, this one landmass, and uh, what is now Ireland was sitting right between the two. And then over time, these like unimaginable tectonic forces, they, they just ripped the two continents apart from one another, leaving Ireland on this the precipice of this continent with like this giant ocean out to the side of it. And that does, I think, lead to quite an interesting puzzle because why does an island have the same weather as places like Newfoundland, places on the same level of latitude that used to be its immediate neighbours? Like, why isn't it covered in snow in the middle of winter? Why is it just wet <laughs> instead? The answer all comes down to the North Atlantic drift. So it brings up all of this warm water from the Gulf of Mexico that ends up just, just off the coast of Ireland, right here. And then because the, the Atlantic is warmer here, it means that the air that sits above it is also warmer. And that's, that's essentially what gives Ireland its, its mild winters. But there's another thing going on here too, because, because warmer air can carry a lot more moisture. And so when the, the wind blows in from the Atlantic, which it inevitably does, it blows across this warm, wet air onto the island. And um, that's what gives Ireland 250 days of rain a year. Um, I mean, there's, there's a reason they call it the Emerald Isle, right? Like seriously, I think I'm just getting really into geology at the moment.